We all know that digital payments like net banking and UPI have become the new norm. From expensive retail outlets selling branded clothes to the average fruit cart vendor on the street, everybody is embracing unified payments interface that is UPI as the most preferred form of payment. But though things have gotten easier in sending money, there are many downsides like data theft, frauds to name a few. So how do you keep yourself safe and not end up as an easy target for scammers and hackers? Well, Money9 Jatpat is here with 5 things that you need to keep in mind to keep your online transactions safe. Number 1. Do not share your UPI PIN with anyone including your parents or even your kith and kin. Because the UPI PIN is meant for your eyes only and not for anybody else. In any UPI enabled app, the last and the final step for making the payment is the PIN. So always keep it like a top secret. Also, no bank representative will ask for any of your account details, UPI PIN or password. So, do not share all this sensitive information with anyone. Number 2. Whether you send or receive money, always, always make sure to double check the UPI ID and phone number. While sending the money, make sure that the receiver's UPI ID and phone number is correct. Because if you send it to the wrong number, you might not get the money back unless the receiver agrees to give it back. This also applies when you receive money by sharing your correct UPI ID and phone number. Number 3. Under any circumstances, do not click on any unverified or fishy links that you get on your email and your SMS. This is because these links are like traps set up by scammers and attackers to steal all your sensitive banking information like passwords and pins. These links also include downloading of fraudulent apps. Number 4. Always make sure to keep your devices locked at all times, especially when you are in a new place and you don't know a lot of people. Apart from all the banking and payment apps, you have many other important apps on your phones through which hackers can access all your banking information. For your own personal safety, you can add an extra layer of security by putting an additional lock on your banking, payments, email and other important apps. Number 5. When you buy anything online from a merchant website, make sure that the bank website that you get redirected is encrypted with HTTPS and a lock on the start of the URL. If the URL starts with HTTP and not HTTPS, then it means that the page is not secure and might lead to password thefts. We hope that these 5 things will flash in your mind the next time you make online transactions. For more such videos like this, subscribe and keep watching Money Nine English's YouTube channel. And of course, download the Money Nine app to watch the latest episode of 2 plus 2 equal to 5 on the sectoral review of the oil and gas sector.